Hey guys, this is Kalle for djsetup.de and today I want to show you how you can use Ableton Live as an external effects unit for playing in Traktor. So you would play the, the tracks in Traktor and only use Ableton to dial in some of the more advanced effects that you can find in Ableton versus the ones that are in Traktor. There are a few things you'll need. So first of all you need obviously Traktor, the software. You'll also need Ableton Live. I have version 8 right here. It's the demo version uh, as I'm waiting for Ableton, 9, Ableton Live 9 to be released in the coming weeks or months, I hope. And then also, you will need a tool called Jack OS X, um, which comes with two tools, actually, the, the Jack Pilot and the Jack Controller and the output routing. You can download Jack OS X for free under the link provided. Okay, so let's start things up. So first you want to start the Jack Pilot and hit the start button. It takes a while and then it starts. Next you want the Jack Connection Kit and you want to start that as well if it's not already started. Then you want to start Tractor and we basically need to tell Tractor to route the output of the four decks not to the audio interface or the speakers but to Ableton first of all and then from Ableton we'll go to the audio interface. Just cancel that. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go into the settings of Tractor and in audio setup, select the jack audio device. In output routing, you want to have deck A go to output 1 and 2, deck B go to 3 and 4, C 5 and 6, and D 7 and 8. That's it for the settings in Tractor. Next, let's look at the settings in Ableton Live. So you start that one up as well. As I mentioned, this is demo for now. Okay. You want to delete the MIDI track. You don't need that, but you want to duplicate the audio track three times so you have four audio tracks through which we will route the, the four decks from Tractor. Next, you want to open the preferences of live. And in the audio settings, go to the audio input device and select the jack router. And as an audio output device, you can choose you know, whatever sound interface you have. In this case, I'm just going to use the internal speakers and sound card of the laptop. Okay, so in the four decks, the four audio decks, you want to make sure that in the first deck, the output is 1 and 2. So the, the first stereo channel, second deck is 3 and 4, third is 5 and 6 and for the 7 and 8, just like we've selected the output in Tractor. Now, you can already see that there's sound coming in here in 1 and 2, and that's due to the fact that the microphone somehow routes to this first channel. That's not what I want, and this is where Jack OS X comes into play. So, you open the audio connection kit, and you should already see, in this case I have Live, I have Tractor and System, which is the audio interface of my laptop. First, want to disconnect all, yes, I'm sure. And then you want to, you can actually expand Tractor and you see the actually 12 outputs, of which I'm only using 8. And you want to drag Tractor onto Live, which automatically connects the outputs of Tractor to the inputs in Live. Collapse that. And then from Live, you want to drag your output to your audio interface, in my case, the system AI. Okay, let's expand everything. So we're seeing the eight tractor channels go out to the eight inputs of live, and then the master of live, just two channels, just one stereo channel, going to my audio interface. The only thing remaining is in Ableton to 
select the monitor in, make sure that all the audio channels are routed to the master on the far right, and then let's play a track. And you can see in live that the audio is coming into the first channel. Drop something into the second channel, to the second deck. <laughs> Check in live and this one is coming through as well. You can now adjust the master volume right here in Ableton Live and you can obviously map that to a controller so you have full control uh, with your fingers not just using the mouse as I'm doing right now. Now what this allows you to do is to now use the return channels from Ableton Live. So let's let's say we choose a nice effect here, a reverb, flange verb, something you can actually hear, drop it into the re re sorry, the return channel, the first one, and now I'm going to turn up the send to this return channel. You bring up the volume again. And you can have as many return channels as you want. So you can have another one. Let's take a, a loop off beat, drop it into the second return channel, bring up the volume. So I hope you could see what's happening. In practical use, when you're actually mixing, you don't need to have the Ableton window open. You can just minimize it, maximize tractor, and, and mix as you want. Uh, you would just have a controller that controls the effects in Ableton, but you would actually mix just using tractor. Hope that made sense to you. Any comments, please feel free to leave them. This is the first time I've done this kind of stuff, so if there's a better way to do it, please let me know. Otherwise, um, yeah, try it and enjoy it.